Hey there, Storm fans. Brian Cook, and tonight we are playing a donation deck from Sean Dagnan. Sean is a member of the Combo Cabal and gets a free donation deck every single month for supporting this channel at its highest level. Sean, thank you so, so, so much. Sean submitted Marcus Ewalds, aka I Would Like to Respond, Blue Black or Demir, Peer into the Abyss deck featuring Founding the Third Path. And if you're unfamiliar, this is a brand new card from Dominaria United. You can read ahead, which is skip to any single chapter on this card. But the first chapter is when you uh, play this card, the first chapter is you can cast an instant or sorcery from your hand immediately that costs less than two mana without paying its mana cost. The second chapter is target player mills four cards. You can even target yourself to fuel Cabal Rituals or get cards like See the Truth into the Graveyard. And the third card is exile, exile target instant or sorcery from your graveyard, copy it, and you may cast the copy. So with See the Truth, if you're unfamiliar with this card, it's basically sorcery speed. Anticipate you look at the top three, put a card to your hand, but and the rest go on the bottom. But if you cast it from a zone that wasn't your hand, you actually just get to draw three. So it's like a bad standstill almost like it's a standstill you have to put more work into uh you could call it ancestral recall but i think it's actually a lot closer to standstill so we're playing see the truth to pair with this founding the third path that's pretty much the backbone of this deck but the primary game plan i should say is peer into the abyss with broken rituals like dark ritual Cabal Ritual. But one of the nice benefits of playing this strategy is you actually get to play Force of Will, which is pretty unique to a Storm deck in Legacy. So we're going to try this out tonight. I've uploaded Peer decks in the past. If you're interested, go check those out. But that's pretty much all I have. I mean, it's the classic Ant Shell, right? Like we're playing Cabal Ritual, a bunch of cantrips, that sort of thing. But we're trying out a new card in a very powerful shell. That's what I've got. Uh, I'm becoming a little bit rambly now, so I'm just going to head on over to match number one, and I hope you like the video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to the first match. We are on the draw against Boland. I have no clue what they're playing, but our hand's pretty clunky. Double peer into the abyss, double see the truth. Not a huge fan. Let's see how this goes. Bottom of the tendrils of agony. We just don't need that card at the moment. What are you playing? Volcanic Island. Delver of Secrets. Sure. Glad I didn't keep that first hand now. Founding the Third Path. That's a good one. Preordain. Let's get rid of the Lotus Petal. And I think I'm going to keep the Cabal Ritual. Pass the turn. Wasteland. That's no good here. We'll take one. They have five cards. Draw. Peer into the best. Beautiful. Let's fetch another island. Do I have a swamp in here? Yeah, I do. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Founding the third path. Main deck pyroblasted. Ouch. Dalver happens. Reveals days. Sure. Draw. Another copy of Preordain. Let's play that. I think I want to bottom both. Let's Preordain again. Keep this. Just trying to be disciplined here. Don't play into the Wasteland. Don't play into Days. The Delver will get in. We'll fall to 12 life. It's fine. I have six cards in hand. Draw. Preordain. We don't need these. We're looking for Thoughtseize or Force of Will. Brainstorm. Okay. Pass. 
Our opponent is attacking for three again. We're going to fall to nine. Worried about Lightning Bolt actually killing me now. I could grab Underground Sea, but I'm just going to be wasted. I think I need to have double Black Swords for these Cabal Rituals. Draw. Force of Will. Okay. Let's try Cabal Ritual, see if this ha happens. Okay. Another Cabal Ritual. So I could try to hold this. My problem with holding is that I'm not playing around days as much. Try it out, I guess. So if I have to force a will to protect this, then it resolves them dead to Lightning Bolt. That just happened? No way. I'm sort of in shock right now. Okay. Cabal Ritual again. Need to play a few more spells here. Let's cast Brainstorm. Put back two lands. Let's ponder, increase the storm by one. Shuffle. Ponder. Guess we'll take a Dark Ritual. Cast the Dark Ritual. Tundras of Agony. I can't believe we won that. Really can't. I thought there was no chance. Wow. Four basics look pretty good. Likely want these dresses, the flusters. What are we supposed to board out? It's a little bit weird how this deck doesn't really have an answer to maddening hex. I think we want to go a little bit smaller. Let's try shaving two copies of See the Truth and then a single copy of Founding the Third Path. Five lands. Uh, I don't know. You know what? I'm going to keep it. Lands are actually really good against Delver. Lotus Petal. We want to find Duress and Thought Season, those sort of effects. Ponder, they get their Surveil trigger. One thing to note about playing non the Epic Storm Storm decks is with TS, you get to mulligan very aggressively due to having Echo of Aeons and Galvanic Relay to bail you out. Decks like Ant and Peer into the Abyss Storm and some of the other Storm variants in Legacy that don't have those cards don't have that luxury of being able to mulligan to hands that are more functional quite as well. None of these are really what I'm looking for here. I think I'm going to shuffle. Did not need land number six, unfortunately. That was kind of stinky. Another ponder. A surveil away a wasteland. Need to find a brainstorm to fix this hand up. They did not shuffle. And they cast their own brainstorm. Surveilling away a red elemental blast in a misty rainforest. We'll take two going to 17. Draw another lotus petal. Uh, I'm regretting this hand right now. They play a scalding turn and another brainstorm. Surveilling their life away. Yep, they kept one card on top that time. We'll take two. Unless they have something else here. Surgical on my ponder. I guess I'll let them see that my hand sucks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not doing much here. They put a card on top of Surveil once again. They have four cards in hand. All right, I will continue to take two. I go to 15. Draw another dark ritual. Pass the turn. You might be thinking, like, why don't I play out Lotus Petals if I'm afraid of Maddening Hex? 
One, it mostly doesn't matter. Two, if I happen to draw Tendrils of Agony, I want that card to be able to buy me some time. They kept both cards on top with uh, that Ponder. Now we have an Expressive Iteration. They're just churning their way through their library here. They can play a Delver of Secrets this turn. And they're passing. Five cards in hand. See the truth. Glorified Anticipate. First spell of the game on turn five. I guess we'll take a Force of Will. Pass the turn. They have six cards in hand now. Another copy of Expressive Iteration. They play a Ponder. Will they ever hit Delirium? They surveil the way of force. Their hand must be stacked. Okay, it looks like we're going to 11. They have 7 cards. They have 27 cards left in deck, which is wild. Draw another force. I mean, I could try to peer with force back up here. I just don't think it's going to resolve. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Let's fetch. Grab an island. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm in like do or die right now, so we might as well just get everything we can. What are the odds they don't have double force by now? It's like incredibly low. Target me. And by double force, I don't mean just force of will. They are a force of negation deck as well. I'm going to attempt to force this. And they probably have another force. And they do. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't planning on hitting all six land drops this game. Yikes. Okay. I think I'm just going to resubmit and try to uh, draw a little bit better. On the play for game number three. This is risky because this is not... I need a swamp. I'm going to keep it, but I'm really nervous about this. I'm actually going to main phase this brainstorm to play around Days and Pyroblast. I really need to hit a polluted delta. Brainstorm. Okay. Um... Hmm. This is interesting. I think I'm actually supposed to fetch away the force. Pass. Misty Rainforest. Draw. I'm pressured here to go get the solo underground sea, but Wasteland is going to hurt. Thought Seas. No Wasteland. That's a plus. Hmm. What is the pick here? I think it's like I could take the ponder, but then I have to worry about this force negation. All right, I'm going to take the ponder. The ponder could find wasteland, which is what I'm most afraid of right now. They fetch with Misty. Channeler. Island. And they're passing. Dark ritual off the top rope. Come on. Actually, Cabal Rich will be good, too. Founding the Third Path. Okay. No Pyroblast now. Cast this Duress for free. They drew a Force of Will! No! Alright, Force of Negation down. Pass. The surgical and my upkeep on duress. There's only one other duress in there. But they get the surveil trigger. And they put Volcanic Island to their graveyard. They'll attack for one. I go to 15. 
They're going to Pyroblast the Founding the Third Path. Their Channeler is now Delirious. They have three cards in hand. Force, Sanctuary, One Unknown. So I could cast Peer into the Abyss now, but I can't protect it. So I don't know if it's actually worth going for. I should just try to be a little bit more patient. And here's an obvious weakness of this specific list. There's a single copy of Underground Sea. If our opponent has a Wasteland, I cannot fetch for another Black Source. I'm going to go to 10. I really use a Cabal Ritual here. Draw. That technically does it. Grab the Swamp. Go to 8. So I'm still out of Bolt range. Ritual. Ritual. Peer. Force pitching force. I'll attempt to fluster. I have Mystic Sanctuary, one unknown. The force has been countered. Surveil. Peer. A. How about that? Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual, Cabal Ritual, Cabal Ritual, so much black mana. Shouldn't cast Duress here, or the Thoughts he's here, because it could lose me the game. Instead, we'll just... I, actually, I guess if they have both, I could always force it. All right. Let's cast it. It's just a blast. So you might be thinking, like, why wouldn't I go for something else? It's, like, pretty free. Like, in case they had, like, a... St I don't know. Like, I guess Stife wouldn't beat me there either. And if they had Fluster, they would have countered the Pier. It just seemed like a pretty low-risk uh, move by playing the Thoughtseize. We were fortunate enough to win the first match, which is great. Round number two will be coming up in just a moment. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Round number two, we're on the play. What is up with this deck and five landers? Come on. Shouldn't have opened up my mouth. I think we keep this. Get rid of the founding the third path. Prismatic Vista. Grab an island. Ponder. I want all of these. Um, it's super greedy. I'm going to keep this. I understand how greedy this hand is. I really do. Mountain? Are you on Moon Stompy? Is that what this is? Interesting. They're passing. Could be something like Painter. Let's try founding the third path, see if this resolves. Okay. Thought sees you. And it is, in fact, Painter. I have double Chrome Mox. I think I just take the Spear Guide here. I guess I could take the Karn. Yeah, it's probably Karn. All right, play out the Lotus Petal. Pass the turn. Land number two. Chrome Mox. Sure thing. They pitch Spirit Guide. Chrome Mox. Pitching Blood Sun. They ripped another car and thought he's bugged. All right, cast Brainstorm. The Karn resolves. Sort of bummed about this, though. And if you're unfamiliar with the Thoughtseize bug joke, on Magic Online, sometimes it feels like 
your opponent's deck happens to um, always draw the card that you recently discarded. And I can't beat this Trinisphere. Might as well target them, I guess. Damn. Alright, I just have to concede I can't beat Trinisphere. Game two. Echoing Truth, Hercules Recall, Enforce a Negation. It's sort of the Doomsday plan in a lot of matchups is just don't ever let the problematic thing resolve. I think we want to get rid of this value package of See the Truth and Founding the Third Path. It's not really what the matchup is about. And now we're at 57. I can board in the two Duress. I guess I get to keep one of those effects. I guess we'll keep a founding. Try this. Game two, we're on the play. Keep. Lead off on the duress. Yokel hops, chalice of the void. Get out of here. Pass the turn. Ancient tomb and they're passing. Lovely. Brainstorm, let's cast that. We do not have an underground sea to fetch with this, and we found the pier. Yes. Guess I'm going to. I mean, this is a little odd. I'm getting rid of the lotus petal here, but I want to cast the ponder. Okay, we'll keep the force of will. So I think next turn I'm pretty close to being able to pier. It depends on if I have to force a card or not this turn, I believe. So Dark Witch will be five, Force would be six, the Preordain. No, that doesn't I'm still short. That doesn't work. They play a mountain, and it looks like they're passing the turn again. Preordain. Put that on the bottom, we'll keep Cabal Rituals. So that's five cards in graveyard. I have to pass the turn here. City of Traitors, Blood Sun, you got it. Chrome Mox. And Prince Shatter Skull Smashing. Turn the Great Creator can meet a Force of Will. Get out of here with that trash. Not up in here. Not up in here. Dark Ritual. We now have Threshold, Cabal Ritual, Cabal Ritual, Pierce Strain to the Abyss. Okay, smooth sailing from here. Thoughts ease you. Fiery Confluence, Dark Ritual. Thought sees you again for good measure. Take the Yokel Hops, Preordain. Bottom that. I guess we'll keep Tendrils number two. Why not? Lotus Petal. Tendrils of Agony. We did it. We won. Game two. Can you believe it? And now we're going to be game three on the draw against a Karn the Great Creator deck. Can we pull out a win? I'm just going to resubmit. I don't think there's any need to change our sideboarding plan. I don't think we're allowed to keep this hand. It's just way too slow for the matchup. Mulligan. I don't want a mulligan to force, but they kept seven. Ship it. We just pitch the two uh, black cards. Just don't try to let them resolve anything meaningful. Is that the game plan? City of Traders. All right, well, that's fine. Draw. Boo. Island Pass. So now with Blood Sun, their cities do not die when they play additional lands. I'm going to let the Blood Moon go. At least this taps for mana now. We still have Lotus Petals to make black mana. Pass the turn. One has five cards. 
three mana for a Simeon Spirit Guide. You've got it. Draw. Can't play that past the turn. You might be wondering why am I not casting this Brainstorm? I think you want to hold it for pretty much as long as possible. It's not like I'm in a position where I can take advantage of it either. Draw. Tendrils of Agony. Opponent's flooding out a little bit here. We'll take Simeon Spear Guy beats down to 16. They have three cards. I'm just going to discard this duress. Another blood sign. Yeah, I mean, I'm never going to answer that. Beat me down to 14. Draw. All right, I will cast the brainstorm, see if we can hit. Let's get rid of this tendrils and one of the forces, I think. We're shuffling off this ponder, most likely. Echoing Truth. That doesn't do anything for me. I'm going to shuffle. Ding! Yes! Play out this Lotus Petal. Pass the turn. Now we just need to find Peer into the Abyss. Three mana for a Trenosphere. Should I let that resolve? I have a Hercules. No, I'm going to force it. Pitch the Hercules Recall. Ouch, I'll go to 12. They still have four cards in hand. Draw. Reordain. Bottom both of these. Land. Pass the turn. Four mana. Is this a card the Great Creator? Fiery Confluence. Let's brainstorm. I want a little bit of extra info here. Sack this for blue. It's fizzled their spell. The downside now is I have to live long enough to draw through my own brainstorm and find Peer into the Abyss. Play the Strand Pass. Will I die to monkey beats? I'm going to eight. Draw. Pass the turn. Going to six. I have five cards and they're just choosing not to play anything. This worries me. Pass. Six cards in hand. I'm at four life. They're passing once again. Draw. Okay, we have one draw step to draw up here into the abyss. Pass. They play another land. Throw Mox, sure. Shatter Skull Smashing. Chandra. Okay. We go to two. Nothing in their second main phase. This is it. Peer into the abyss. Or Pluto Delta. That's a bummer. We saw over 33% of our deck that game and did not find Peer into the abyss. What else did you have in your hand? Pyroblast. Dark Ritual. Thoughts he's targeting me. Interesting that they didn't Pyroblast the uh, force on the Chandra because that was just lethal damage. Hmm. Okay, draw. Looks like we didn't have anything coming either. Wow. Okay, this is playing a deck without tutors sometimes. We are one in one. 
Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match number three, we are on the draw and this hand sucks. Take a mulligan. Much better. I think we just bottom a lotus petal here. All right, let's do exactly that. Lotus petal on the bottom of our library. Opponent is on the play. They also took a mulligan to six. Volcanic Island, ponder. Draw, brainstorm. I'm going to play into days here. I think that we can afford to do it because we drew this brainstorm. If we drew another land or a ritual, I wouldn't have. Uh, that's pretty solid. Okay, pass the turn. Flooded Strand. Channeler. So blue red once again. Interesting. They're passing the turn. Take a draw. Surprise, surprise. Dark Ritual. Cast this brainstorm. We know the top card. Do I want to keep the tenders? Question is, can we get the storm count high enough? I'm not sh quite sure. I think I'm just going to pass for now. Play Wasteland. Four cards still in hand. Getting in with Channeler will fall to 18 life. Take a draw step. We know it's the Preordain. Cast this one. I'm sort of tempted to keep the... Ooh. I'm sort of tempted to keep both of these, actually. We're getting really close to the point where tendrils could be lethal, depending on how the game shakes out. So this is five plus three is eight, nine mana. So actually, as of right now, we don't have enough mana to play the tendrils as well. Maybe I should fetch it away then. Ooh, okay, hold on. I wasn't counting correctly. Uh, so this is, we use the delta for the black, five, eight nine ten we would need eleven hmm so it seems like i'm still one mana short interesting they're still not doing anything yet i feel like i'm supposed to draw the tendrils looted delta four cards left they fetch they play the delver off the expressive iteration that is all right, I'm going to draw the tendrils, I think. Play the preordain. Okay. Storm is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Assuming that they force, that would be eight. Tendrils would be nine. Grab the basic swamp, play dark ritual. Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Attempt to draw half my library. Force Pitching Brazen Borrower. Yeah. Here goes nothing. Tendrils. It's worth noting a daze would actually keep them alive here, unfortunately. And they do have it. Damn. One mana short. They pitched a brazen borrower. I guess that's fine. Oddly enough, I feel like we're not favored to win this right now. They flip to lightning bolt. 
I have one other tendrils in the deck, and I have this dead card in my hand. A mill a merc tide, that's surprising. We'll take six here going to twenty-three. Draw. Vista does not help. Pass the turn. What's tough about the situation that we're in is I also have no way of finding the other one of tendrils because there's no tutors in this deck. Press of iteration. They find another bolt. Yeah. So I'm going to 20 here and then they attack for six down to 14. I'm dying very quickly. Yep, 14. They have two in hand. Draw. Founding the third path. Three mana ponder. Are you going to daze this? Please daze this. I think that would actually be good for me. Uh, I should start on chapter two, I think. Target player mills four. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, we did not hit the other tendrils. I was thinking that maybe one of my outs here is hitting a see the truth or see the bound or whatever it's called and getting an ancestral recall out of it. Here's a Merc Tide. I'm probably just dead. Ooh, if I draw a black source, I can just do the tendrils. I did not consider that. That's actually really nice. The third chapter is not limited to spells that cost one or two. It can even be this tendrils of agony. So any black source off the top could potentially win this. Come on deck, please draw. Tendrils. Oh no. Oh no. This actually doesn't win. I, I have to cast it right now. I don't have the mana. It would have had to have been like a dark ritual. So I was supposed to get like brainstorm here. Ah, oh, geez. Okay, lesson learned there. Damn. Let's see if it was brainstorm. It doesn't change anything. We lost that game to a daze. Feels bad. All right, bring in the duress. Bluster. Let's do this cyborg map again. Hit submit. Game two. Sure. Like, if you're supposed to mulligan this hand, I think you're just not supposed to play the deck. Like... I don't like I don't think that this hand is perfect, but it's force effect, cantrips, indestructible land in the matchup. Have to bottom both of these. And there we go. Flooded strand. Volcanic Island into Delver. Draw. A little bit greedy here. I'm going to play the founding the third path. Okay, chapter one. Play brainstorm. Interesting. Put the forces on top. I don't need two force, so it's fine. Channeler, Delver. Here come the beats. So we'll draw. Target player mills for will be me. We milled the fluster. See the truth. Next turn, we can actually see the truth off of founding the third path for, to make this into the standstill combo. Take a ponder. Let's go grab another basic. We need to find peer into the abyss or something. I guess we have the see the truth, the flashback too. I don't think we want tendrils. Shuffle. Upkeep brainstorm. Yep. Brainstorm resolves. 
They flip to ponder. Currently they have land instant. We know that they have a ponder, so now they're one type away from delirium. And they did not shuffle. Four cards in hand. We'll take seven here going to nine. So we could potentially be facing lethal here. Am I supposed to force this? The problem is that I'd be playing into days if I do. I think I have to let it go. It's unfortunate, but I can't afford to play into days and lose the game. Come on, Pierre, please. Ponder. Take the preordain. Fetch. Preordain. Believe I have to bottom both of these. S buys me a turn. Tendrils. And they have days. So I would have just straight up lost to if I forced. I don't know. Like this finding the third path, see the truth combo is really cute. This deck feels a little anemic. Like, I'm struggling to find payoffs in all of the matches so far. Granted, this is only match three, but every single match so far, I feel like I've really just not been able to find a payoff spell. They have Wasteland. Sure. They still have four cards in hand, too. Draw. Has to be pure into the abyss, and our opponent needs to not have anything in hand. We are dead. Cabal Ritual. Okay, we are officially 1-2. you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Round number four, we're on the draw. I mean, I'm going to keep this hand. It has Peer into the Abyss in it, and I can't seem to draw that card ever, so let's just keep it. They have a turn one basic island. Ponder. I mean, the founding the third path does turbo fuel these Cabal Rituals. They play their own copy of Brainstorm. In general, I think, and I'm not trying to make fun of Marcus's deck, I promise Marcus, I appreciate you as a person, as a deck builder, but in general, the shell that this deck is built around, I don't think is aged well, which is part of the reason I think Ant hasn't been that great of a metagame choice. So, uh, I know that it sounds disingenuous coming from me, but the era of Brainstorm, Ponder, Preordain, it's just really slow and takes a lot of time, and I don't think that in legacy time is something you can afford to just like get by with like you're better off taking a london mulligan than you are casting preordain i think and it's tough it's a tough pill to swallow but like this deck just has so much air in it and you spend a lot of time can tripping and spinning your wheels and half the time i i'm not able to find the thing i'm looking for so this resolves we will play see the truth I don't want any of these though. Um, I guess we'll take another founding the third path. Pass the turn. Underground C. Entomb. Blue black reanimator, huh? Wow. They grab a gristle brand. They play a third land. That's an exhume. You've done it. I am dead. Looks like they're passing the turn. So there's a chance. If for some reason they decide not to counterspell my Cabal Ritual. They discard an Archon of Cruelty, a Gristlebrand, and some other stuff. So target player mills four cards. We'll target ourselves. Okay. Attempt a, hmm. Yeah, I guess we don't want to play into days, so let's just try the Cabal Ritual here. 
Please resolve the force. Pitching brainstorm. Let's see if we can brainstorm into force of well. No dice. I'm gonna hide Tundras of Agony on top of our deck. Pass the turn. Shallow Grave. Are you a Tinvins variant? Discard the Pier. Uh, I think I'm actually just dead here. Because this gets another trigger. This is 1316. Yeah, you got me. That stunk. Hmm. Okay. Wonder if we want hermits here. I'm not sure if they're too slow or not. Definitely taking out the founding the third pass see the truth combo. It's just so clunky. Glorified ponder. Like in theory you could board and dress down, but what are you taking out for that? I'm just gonna try this out. On the play. I think I'm supposed to keep this, I'm not even sure. Like it doesn't have a force in it. There's no lane two. Not feeling too confident here, but we'll see what happens. I doubt our opponent's a wasteland deck, so let's get the underground sea cast preordain. Bottom of the cabal ritual, but at least we found a force. Island in a ponder, sure thing. Lotus petal. And they pass. Take a draw. Let's try to find land two. Ponder. I'm going to shuffle. I, I mean, part of me wants the force, but I don't think you're actually supposed to keep that. Beardane. I think the Cabal Ritual is probably better than a random draw, but it still makes me a little bit nervous. Looted Delta. Three mana. For show and tell. I'm going to attempt to force that, pitching the Hermit. Show and tell has been countered. How about that? Take a draw. Brainstorm. Hmm. I mean, if I get forced here, it's going to stink, but... I think I'm supposed to. Dark Ritual. Cabal Ritual. I mean, it feels like they have a force, but I'm going to cast my spell regardless. Cabal Ritual resolves. Peer into the Abyss. Storm 4. Apparently I draw 23 cards. There's a Lotus Petal. I think we've got this one. There's a Tendrils of Agony. There's actually not another Ritual in here. So right now this would be a Tendrils for 16. Wow. Um, I guess I'm supposed to cast Ponder? It's from 8. Alright, we found it. Dress you. Concession incoming. Surgical on the lotus petal. Let's force that. Dress. And they just let it go. Okay. They could have surgical the shut off. Oh no, I had one extra for. They could have surgical preordained to shut off Cabal Ritual Threshold, and that's what they were thinking about. Okay, so that, that explains the pause on Cabal Ritual. Sweet. Game 3 coming up. Just click Submit. 
game three. This hand is a little bit questionable. It doesn't actually interact with the opponent at all. They've taken a mulligan. I think we can do better on six. Much better. Oddly enough, I think you're supposed to get rid of Brainstorm here. Well, Brainstorm's a super powerful card. You really need multiple lands and fetch lands in order to make that work. We only have the solo land, so it's a little awkward. Take a draw. A land two. And step in tomb. Think I'm going to allow that. I know there's like this rule that you're supposed to always counter the entombs or whatever, but I don't know if I want to live by that law. And we're cool the promised end. Okay. If you're unfamiliar, this is Emrakul the Promise End. So if they decide to reanimate it, it would just be a flying protection from instance, trample, all that good stuff. They would not get the cast trigger. Okay, our opponent plays blue to delta and they're just passing. Take a draw. Another ponder, how wild. Cast her own ponder. Is it crazy that I want to shuffle this? It's all air, and it takes time. I'm going to shuffle. Another force isn't bad. Is this another in tomb? No, okay. Five cards in hand. Let's force pitching ponder. They have one blue open. We have successfully counterspelled the exhum. Take a draw. Don't mind the thought sees. Play it. See, I'm a genius. I didn't counterspell in tomb. Look at me now. All right, so realistically, I have five cards in graveyard. I need to draw a cabal ritual and that will get me close enough to peer. Main phase in Tomb. Gristlebrand. Shallow Grave. Animate Dead. Ooh, I can't fluster that one, so I have to play Force. Come on, Cabal Ritual off the top rope, please. Give me Cabal Ritual. Draw. Ponder. Dark Ritual? Uh, so if I take a land here, Dark Ritual does it next turn. Fine. We're giving our opponent one draw step to kill me. And they drew a land. Okay, we have the, the light to go ahead here. Draw Dark Ritual. Fetch. Grab an island. This way we have more untapped black sources for post peer into the abyss. Dark ritual again. Peer straight into the abyss. Let's see what we have over here. A couple lotus petals. And I did not draw the swamp, so I can actually fetch for that. Dark ritual. Cabal ritual. Cabal ritual. And again, dress your tomb, tendrils of agony. We won both games. I took the combo out of the deck, the see the truth, founding the third path. I don't want to blame it on those cards, but it seems like our deck might work a little bit better when we get rid of them. Sorry, Marcus. It's uh, hard evidence here. You have to convince me that it, that is not a truth. I'm just ribbing on Marcus. Marcus, I still appreciate you. Match 5 coming up. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pinned comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com decklist. 
Round five on the play, the final match, keep. Prismatic Vista, pass the turn. Chrome Mox, okay. Moon Stompy, but nobody likes that deck. Nobody. All right, I feel like I'm supposed to force this. I didn't want to. I just I think I'm supposed to. Dark Ritual. Let's go get the basic swamp. See the truth. You don't have a choice. Preordain. Pass the turn. Another chalice on one. Okay. We have to force it. They still have four cards in hand, so many. Licensed Hearse. Pretty good against us. We're a Cabal Ritual, found whatever it's called deck. Ay ay ay. Founding the third path. They still have three cards. Chrome Mox, I guess that's going down to one here. And Prince Fury. Draw card, ponder. Come on, peer into the abyss. Nope, shuffle. Okay. They use the unlicensed hers, four mana on my end step for two one ones. Okay. Our deck cannot beat a Trinisphere. I will concede. Dark Ritual, founding. Yeah, we didn't really have a whole lot going on there. Force Negation, Urkels, Echoing Truth. I think we probably want the Duress. I'm sorry, once again, I feel like we're supposed to cut this combo. It's just really clunky. I imagine that it's probably okay if you get paired against, like, mono, slow control decks all the time. Let's try this, I suppose. It technically has lands and answers and stuff, but it, I don't feel like it really does anything. Leyline of the Void, sure. Let's go grab our basic swamp. Thoughtseize. I will take the Rabble Master. You don't get to murder me that quickly. They play a mountain. And they pass. Sweet, another land. Ancient Tomb, from Mox. They imprint the Spirit Guide. And it looks like they're passing. So this probably means that they have that land again. If I had to guess the one that makes one ones. Pass the turn. Okay, they don't use it if they had it, so it's unlikely that they do. Might just They might have just been playing around Echo of Aeons for some reason, even though they have a Ley Line in play. Draw. Pass the turn. I love this old Drago. Six mana. I cannot counter that. Yeah, you've got it. I have a Chandra Awakened Inferno emblem. Draw. Lovely. Uh, yeah, pass the turn. Another emblem. So now I'll take two damage in my upkeep. Peer into the abyss, please. Ponder. This is a little bit of a greedy line, but I'm going to do it anyway. Let's fetch for the Underground Sea and cast Brainstorm. It's from two. Did not find it. Two dead lands. I'm going to just pass here. I was thinking about mini tendrils for six life, but I just don't think I want to do that. All right, three Chandra emblems. 
Fiery Confluence to deal six. Sure. So I'm going to go to two. Two of my upkeep, that is. Draw. We'll go to one life. Fetch just a shuffle. There's not even a land to get here. Brainstorm. And I found the pier, but I can't cast it because I'm at one life. So we have to gain a little bit of life before I can actually use this. Um, I think we should get rid of the Oracle's Recall. Or, I'm sorry, the Force of Will. I don't know. Preordain. Let's bottom both of these. So if I tendrils for six life here, I go up to seven and my upkeep, I take four. I guess I could gain a little bit of extra life with that. Just because there's no threshold anyway. So I'll gain eight life here going up to nine. Okay. War boss. I'll take one down to eight and then I take four. So we can go into the abyss here. Pier. Dark Ritual. Lotus Petal. Dark Ritual. Cabal Ritual. Term six. Duress. Leyline of the Void, okay. Term seven. They're at eight already. I guess I can just tendrils. We did it! Look at us! How about that? Cool. We still have to get game three. I guess we probably want the Hydro Blast. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Let's get to see the truth out of here. Mistake on my part. Keep. No Ley Line from the opponent. Interesting. Just a turn one pass. Well, I hope you enjoy having your thoughts seized. Good hand, though. Wow. Okay, well, I can see why they kept it. I think you're actually supposed to take the Rabble Master, because then your Force of Negation has a, a good target, where if you discard the Trinisphere, this Force of Negation actually doesn't hit anything meaningful. They play the Magus. I'm actually going to let that go because I have the Lotus Petal. Good draw. Play the Lotus Petal. Pass the turn. City of Traders. Shell Zero. I'll let that go. Hardcast the Force of Negation. So they have two cards in hand. We know one of them is a Shatter Skull Smashing. And the other is the land that makes creatures. We'll take two from the Magus going to 16. Okay. I'm just going to do this now. It's fine. Well, that was certainly better than to see the truth. I feel like I probably misboarded earlier in this video. Spiridane. Bottom both of these. Just need to find a peer into the abyss. Five mana. They channel their land to make spirits with haste. Ouch. Thirteen. Draw. Brainstorm. I'm going to get rid of both forces, and I'm going to lean on this Hercules recall to answer something that the force would, so that way I can dig a little bit. Keep the brainstorm. Pass the turn. Eh, eh, eh. We'll take two going down to ten. Draw for turn. Echoing truth. 
Attempt to brainstorm. There we go. Put the ponder and the lotus petal on top, and we're just going to pass the turn. And then on their end step, we'll answer the chalice on top and try to win. You've got it. We'll go to eight life. Urkel's you. Cabal ritual with threshold. Peer into the abyss, going to four life. Might as well play the island because we don't have a black source to fetch for. Dark ritual, dark ritual, cabal ritual, and by the looks of it, it means that we have successfully gone three and two in the league. Not bad. Not bad. Preordain. I could draw another half of my library. I mean, I could still do that. Or I can double tendrils. That seems a little bit better. Lethal Storm targeting you. Woo! Okay. Close out of this. If it will let me. Come on. Let's open up the pity chest, see what we get. Full set, come on. Ooh, Atlanta or Alum Speaker. I just recorded uh, Pioneer with this card, and it was honestly very, very good. Oh, you can't zoom in on these. I don't even know what this card is. A Mythic from Adventures in the Forgotten Realm. Some sort of skeleton that comes back or something? I don't know. Okay, so... My honest critique of this deck, I know that like in the title, I probably do this, but I, I hype founding the third path plus see the truth. This was the worst part of this deck. I'm sorry, Marcus. I'm very proud of you that you went 5-0 with these eight cards in your library, but I felt like the deck was actually a little protection light. Like six protection spells in the main deck felt really, really short against Delver decks. Like I think you probably want some more discard in the deck. Um... And then maybe even some sort of way to find Peer and do the best, just because I felt like I struggled pretty badly. That's my thoughts. You don't have to agree with me. It's completely fine. Sean, thank you for the donation deck and being a supporter of this channel. I truly mean that. And everyone else, thank you for watching. And as always, keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.